Game Warden Mike Boone has experience handling all kinds of Texas wildlife. I got a call about a nuisance gator over there on a school campus there at Sabine Pass. You got a mother gator with about 11 or so little babies with her, and it's, it's definitely on the school campus, and that's one place we don't need alligators. I mean, the kids get real curious, try to approach them. We've got to get them off that campus. Run, boys, run! Get up, run! The ditch there, it's got a lot of weeds, a lot of high cattails. I'm trying to locate numerous numbers of hatchlings along with the mother gator, it was gonna be a chore. Boone has called in a team of alligator experts to help capture and relocate the gators. So all these babies are hanging out right there, and, and you know, they hatched out less than a month ago. Oh yeah. So we got, if we don't find them, they're not gonna make it. Yeah, I think, I still think that mama's close. Oh, oh no doubt, oh, mama's mm -hmm. close. We didn't know where the gator was. We didn't know how big the gator was. All we knew that was is possibly a female gator with numerous hatchlings. And when you have that, you got a higher risk because they're gonna be protective of their, of their young. When she comes right through here, you're gonna jump on her, huh? I thought you were jumping on her. Why would I wanna jump on her? <laughs> you're the man. My waders. That gator bite through my waders. I wouldn't worry about this, and if it didn't have all the babies, she's gonna be real protective around these kids. Oh, he's on. Here we go. Oh, you found one. This will, yes. this will bring the mama. Yep, let me do that. Oh, yes. Where you got her at? Right here, right here. All right, hang on, hey, let's set up a block first. Wait, hang on, boys. Let me block. All right, let me block. Ah, that's what you want right there. What you want? Yep. Let me try to push her to you. Yeah. Mike, you got the better angle. Put it on there, Mike. She Mike, got him. Go. She got him. There you go. She got him. I don't know how she got by us. I bet she was under there. Maybe a hole. All right, good job. Woo! Want to back take? You want to take the leg? Yeah. While we were on scene, the superintendent advised us that some of the maintenance crews had located another separate alligator in a drain. When's the last time y'all seen him? Yesterday. Okay. While the first gator and her hatchlings are loaded up for relocation, Boone looks for the second one. Which drain did they see him in? Yeah. That, that one. That's the one. end. That's, that's, there's a pipe right here, and that's the end. We got about a 100-foot piece of pipe that he could possibly be in, but the pipe's only about 36 inches in diameter. We're gonna try to put one of the guys on one side and flush him out on this side, if we if we know for sure he's in here. I'm gonna get down there with a flashlight and shine and see what I can see. Hey, Gary. Yeah, I hear you. Shine down there towards me. I don't see him on this side. Okay, move your light, move your light. I think I just seen an alligator. Oh, He's basically gonna crawl through on his belly, shoving that garbage can through this storm drain, which is only about a 36 inch pipe. So I'm gonna volunteer him to do that, and I'm gonna wait at the other end. I think that's pretty good, man. You like that? I'll take that pole, and I'll just run that pole. There you go. In that, in that trash can? That trash Let's can. do it. Hey, Mike. Yeah? I'm coming your way. I'm gonna sit here and wait for a bite. We got all missing down there when he comes out now. Bring him to me. He's pissed. And he can't be far. Don't move. One 
one foot. One more. Oh, he's coming back. Get the catch rope. Get in there, bro. Eat him over the top. Get in there again. Get him. Clear out. Let him wrap. Wear him out. Woo. Hey, Swampy. You need a bath. Big time. He ain't been doing much fighting, you have. Done deal, Lucille. Hey, good job. Don't call me again, man. <laughs> <laughs> Took a long time for us to get him to push all the way through the drain, but it was a large alligator. It was over nine foot in length. You get that tail? We're gonna relocate the alligator. He's gonna be in a, basically a refuge area, live his life out there. There you go. Thank y'all. Can I go check those duck hunters? First? Yes. Okay. We try to go across the county lines and work with our neighboring wardens. Do you have a clue where you're going out here? Nope. All right. I know that's legitimate. Yeah, we can. I know let's get on. Bridge. Let's get on Walter. <laughs> you know, it's nice to have Wayway come down here and help out with our county. It can be pretty hard for one person to patrol such a big county, especially when there's so much activity going on with duck season. How are y'all? Y'all been out long? About an hour or two. Oh, OK. All right, let me check y'all's guns real quick. Sure. She out in training? She's getting used to it. Yeah? She lost her leash in the wall today. Oh, no. There you go. Very good. What kind of shells y'all using? Lead shot is illegal on duck hunts because it is toxic to birds and the environment. All right. Really? I guess we'll go talk to you up on Sunday. How'd y'all do? I didn't get any. I got one. Yeah, we don't have any. Oh, we don't. There's yours. Thank you. And do you have your hunter education? This is my first time. Right here, where it says hunter education. Yes, ma'am. You have to have it. Do you have your driver's license on you? Let's see that real quick. It's really important for hunters to have hunter education because it teaches you the basic safety and the importance of wearing your hunter orange or just knowing where to point your gun. You'll be issued one citation just for not having your hunter education. Okay. A lot of people get really excited. They get their hunting license. They get all the necessary equipment to go out but they end up forgetting hunter education. Your signature here is on a plate of guilt just that you promised to contact the judge, okay? okay? These individuals, they can go online and take the course or go sit in a classroom setting and take the course that way. And they can work with the judge's office and usually get it dismissed. It happens, <laughs> it happens. You, you, you have no idea how often, it's, it's a very common thing, oh, okay. okay? But that's why next time, just make sure Look over everything, make yes, sure you've got it. So, Will do. Okay? thank you so much. All right.